hello viewers and welcome to this video so in this video we will see permutation groups so this is again a very important group in the study of abstract group theory so last time we discussed what is meant by a cyclic groups and we saw various theorems related to that now we'll start the discussion of permutation groups so to understand what the permutation groups is let us try to first understand what is meant by a permutation okay so permutation uh, is actually a function okay so suppose you are given any non empty set a then permutation of a is defined as follows permutation of a is defined as a function from a to a that is both 1 to n and on 2 okay so a permutation this is the definition a permutation of a set a is a function from a to a that is both 1 to n and on 2 that is both one to one and on to clear now once we have a definition of permutation of a since we are uh, interested to discuss what is meant by permutation groups so then so the next obvious thing which we want to understand is what is meant by permutation group of a okay next we want to uh, define what is meant by permutation group of a so a permutation group of a set a is a set of permutations of a that forms a group under function composition okay so uh, we will see some examples of permutation group but uh, what what is meant by permutation group of A? Permutation group of A is actually a set of all permutations of A that forms a group under function composition. Right? You collect all permutations of A, means you collect all functions, all possible functions from A to A, that is both 1, 1, and 1, 2, in one set and define the operation that is function composition. And under that operation, that particular set which contains all permutation of A forms a group and that group is called permutation group of A. Clear? Permutation of A is a function from A to A that is both 1 to 1 and on to. Permutation group of A is a set of all permutation of A that forms a group under fun function composition. Clear? Okay. So, so the so uh, if you are given any non-empty set A, okay, if you are given any non-empty set A, then group of permutations of A always exist, okay. But we'll focus on the case where A is finite, where A contains only finitely many elements. What I'm saying here is that if you are given any non-empty set A, then group of permutation always exists. Clear? And A may be finite or infinite, right? Doesn't matter. But we'll only deal with, with uh, the case where A is finite. Clear? Okay. So, now uh, let us take 
for the sake of uh, understanding let us take set a to be the set containing elements first n natural numbers that that are suppose 1 2 3 and so on n so a contains a is a set which contains first n natural numbers for some positive integer n for some positive integer n okay fine suppose we take n equals to 4 then in set a you will have elements that are 1 2 3 and 4 right now let us define a permutation on this set a means let us define a function from a to a for n equals to 4 which is both 1 and 1 1 and on 2 right right now uh, we define let us denote uh, the function by alpha so we define a permutation alpha of the set a which contains elements 1 2 3 and 4 and let us specify uh, the image also of each element so by specifying alpha of 1 equals to let us say 2 alpha of 2 equals to 3 alpha of 3 equals to 1 and alpha of 4 equals to 4 so every element of set a which contains four elements that is that are 1 2 3 4 uh, has unique image in set b and uh, it is in fact 1 1 and on 2 right so every element of uh, since alpha is a map from a to itself so every element of a has unique image in uh, a itself hence uh, alpha is a function and because we are defining alpha like this right and uh, it is 1 1 also because alpha a equals to alpha b is true if and only if a equals to b right or alpha a equals to alpha b implies a equals to b that is very clear to us and all the elements of a that is the codomain have pre image in domain so it is both 1 1 and on 2 so clearly alpha is a permutation we have defined alpha like this now the more convenient way to express this uh, 1 to 1 correspondence uh, or the or more convenient way to express the function alpha is in this form we write alpha equals to which is a function or permutation for like this so we'll here we'll list in this uh, uh, top uh, row we'll list all the elements of domain set what are those those are one two three and four and here in this we'll list is its image right that means here we list alpha one that is the image of one under the function alpha just below two we'll list alpha two just below three we'll write alpha three and just below four we'll write alpha four this is just a notation right and this is same as according to our definition 1 2 3 4 so image of 1 under the function alpha is 2 image of 2 under the function alpha that is alpha 2 is 3 similarly alpha 3 is 1 and alpha 4 is 4 this is by our definition right so this is the more convenient way to express uh, the function alpha right so given uh, this uh, this notation if you are given alpha equals to this right then uh, just looking at this also you can uh, tell what what are the elements in domain set and what are the elements in codomain set also their images image of each element of domain set in the common codomain set so this is the more convenient way to uh, express the permutation okay you can do the same with uh, a equals to 1 2 3 4 5 that means you are taking in this case n equals to 5 whatever n you take whatever positive integer n you take you can do the same thing right you can define a permutation uh, from the set a to its itself for that particular value of n and then look at 
and look at this array form of that particular permutation clear so here what we uh, uh, have done is that here alpha j is placed directly below j for each j in the domain set clear similarly let us uh, look deal with uh, the case where n equals to uh, 6 in this case and try to define a permutation so let n equals to 6 if n equals if we take n equals to 6 then we get set a equals to the set containing 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 right in this case if you take n equals to 6 then you will have a to be 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 so now we again define a permutation we define a permutation beta of the set a of the set a equals to the set containing 1 2 3 4 5 and 6 uh, as follows that means uh, we define a permutation beta of the set this means we define a function beta from a to a that is both 1 1 and 1 2 so how we are defining this uh, permutation beta well beta of 1 equals to 5 beta of 2 equals to 3 beta of 3 equals to 1 beta of 4 equals to 6 beta of 5 equals to 2 and beta of 6 equals to 4 right so this is the permutation which we have defined uh, of the set a okay so so this permutation beta we express it in array form as so it is expressed in array form as beta equals to so in the top row you write all the elements of domain set that are 1 2 3 4 5 6 since beta is a map from a to itself and a contains these many elements and in this second row you write images their images that is just below one you write alpha one sorry I'm really sorry beta one just below two you write beta two just below three you write beta three just below four you write beta four just below five you write beta five just below six you write beta six according to our definition 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So these are elements in the domain set. What is beta 1? Beta 1 is 5. Beta 2 is 3. Beta 3 is 1. Beta 4 is 6. Beta 5 is 2. And beta 6 is 4. So these are all the... Uh, uh, so these are all the uh, elements in the range set of beta. Okay. So this is the array uh, form of permutation beta. So you know how to uh, define a permutation given a set you know how to define a permutation and how to express that permutation in array form yeah okay now the next obvious question is suppose you are given two permutations okay uh, let us say you are given two permutations of the same set right so here instead of defining uh, the permutation beta from a to itself like this uh, so instead of defining permutation beta from of the set a like this you can also define like beta 1 equals to 6 beta 2 equals to 4 beta 3 equals to 1 beta 4 equals to let us say 5 beta 5 equals to 2 and beta 6 equals to 3 you can also define like this no problem this is also a well defined function from a to itself and is in fact a permutation okay and then you can look at array notation no problem there are many ways to define a permutation from a set okay. 
to itself fine so given a set there are many ways to define permutation from a set to from a given set to itself permutation means it is a function from a set to itself so no point of saying that uh, there are many ways to define permutation from a set to itself permutation itself is a function so there are i have to actually say like there are many ways to define a permutation of the set okay <sighs> fine so now let us look at composition of permutations you know how to compose two functions right if you are given a function you know how to compose them right now let us see how we compose permutations permutation is permutation is also a function so the way you compose two functions exactly in a similar way you compose two permutations but we want to compose them in array notation so far you haven't seen this notation right this is totally new to you so let us see how we compose two permutations that means how we compose two functions which are given in array notation right for example uh, suppose we take uh, the case where n equals to 5 in our above case then uh, you have a which contains elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 suppose we define a permutation uh let a uh, sigma be a permutation uh given in okay let's let sigma be a permutation in of a uh, set of uh, of this set a where which is given in array notation as 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 6 3 5 1 this means 1 goes to 2 2 goes to 4 3 goes to uh 3 itself 4 goes to 5 and 5 goes to 1 right you are now familiar with this array notation so if you are given a permutation in array notation you can actually understand what are the elements in the domain set and what are the elements in the range set and which element is mapped to which element right so you are given one permutation of the set a and suppose you are given another permutation let us say gamma of the same set so these are elements in the domain set suppose uh, gamma takes 1 to 5 2 to 4 3 to 1 4 to 2 5 to 3 now you want to compose now we want to compose these two permutations that is we want to compose gamma with sigma right how we are going to do this well it is exactly same as the function composition so you write gamma first in array notation again 1 2 3 4 5 so gamma is nothing but uh, this one so you write that 5 4 1 2 3 and then you write sigma that is nothing but 1 2 3 4 5 2 4 3 5 one now if we want to compose these two these two permutations well the rule is very simple gamma okay so first you suppose you look at gamma sigma 1 okay gamma sigma is also a permutation uh, of the set a suppose you look at gamma sigma 1 gamma sigma 1 this is nothing but gamma sigma 1 but what is sigma 1 sigma 1 is nothing but 2 right sigma 1 is 2 so 2 and what is gamma 2 4 gamma 2 is 4 this is how you compose any two permutations right okay so that means you look uh, the rule is very simple under uh, the permutation sigma 1 goes to 2 and under the permutation gamma 2 goes to 4 so under the permutation uh, sigma gamma 1 goes to 4 this is how you do it 1 goes to 2 under the permutation sigma you do like this 1 goes to 2 
so you do like this uh, one goes to two under uh, the permutation sigma and under the permutation gamma two goes to four right one goes to two and two goes to four under the permutation gamma so under the permutation sigma gamma one goes to four okay similarly under the permutation sigma 2 goes to 4 under the permutation sigma 2 goes to 4 and under the permutation gamma 4 goes to 2 so under under the permutation sigma gamma 2 goes to 2 clear okay similarly under the permutation uh, sigma 3 goes to 3 and under the permutation gamma 3 goes to 1 you, so that under the permutation sigma gamma 3 goes to 1 clear so let me erase this because it makes you sometimes it may confuse you so let me erase this but you are getting some idea about how to compose these two elements right similarly under the permutation sigma 4 goes to 5 under the permutation gamma 5 goes to 3 so under the permutation uh, gamma sigma 4 goes to 3 similarly under the permutation sigma 5 goes to 1 and under the permutation gamma 1 goes to 5 so under the permutation gamma sigma 5 goes to 5 goes to 1 so clear so the rule is exactly similar to what we already know but in array notation this is how you compose okay if you compose any two element if you compose uh, the the function that is the permutation sig gamma with sigma with uh, the function composition which you already know then also you will get the same thing right in that if you do like that also you will get that 1 goes to 4 2 goes to 2 3 goes to 1 4 goes to 3 5 goes to 1 under the function composition that is gamma sigma for example i'll do it for one so gamma sigma under the permutation gamma sigma if i look at the image of element 2 this is nothing but gamma sigma 2 this is nothing but gamma sigma 2 is what sigma 2 means image of element 2 under the function sigma under the permutation sigma that is exactly 4 so this is 4 and under the permutation gamma since gamma 4 is the image of 4 under the permutation gamma and what is that under the permutation gamma image of 4 is 2 so we are getting gamma sigma 2 equals to 2 means image of 2 under the permutation gamma sigma is exactly 2 you can do like this also but the more convenient way to compose any two elements or to compose any two permutations of the set a which contains elements 1 2 3 4 and 5 is this and you can do the same for any permutation right any you can do the same to compose any two permutations of any set okay note that here you cannot take uh, the permutations of on of the two different uh, sets and try to compose them right because by the definition of function composition what you should have is that function uh, suppose f is a function from a to b then g is a g has to be a function from b to c to compose to talk about g compose with f or f compose with c right since alpha is a function from a to a so beta which you want to compose with alpha should be a function from a to itself clear That's why you cannot take two different permutations of two different sets of the two different sets and try to compose them, right? That is not a valid uh, thing which you are doing. Okay, with this, I want to stop here and in the next lecture, uh, we'll see.
group of permutations right group of permutations uh, of sets or permutation group of sets so this is kind of just the introductory lecture where uh, i introduced you what is meant by permutation of a set permutation group of a set and how to uh, given a permutation how to uh, write them write that permutation in array notation or in array form and composition of permutations very simple idea involved in the composition of permutation you know how to compose two permutations now with this i want to start